high-end fashion and lifestyle magazines are in the business of a sophisticated image. And when they're doing a cover shoot, everyone on the production team has to aim high and hit the mark. Karisha had the opportunity to see the models and creatives in action at a recent shoot with a spring bridal theme. And she met up with editor-in-chief Chanel Bachchan at the exquisite Audacia Manor. When we pick up a beautiful glossy magazine, we really stop to think how much time and effort goes into creating it. Today I'm in beautiful Durban at the Audacia Manor for the behind the scenes cover photo shoot of Lipstick Red magazine. The nostalgic grandeur of this 90 year old Durban property made a perfect backdrop for the classic nuptial fashion theme. Chanel, welcome to Mela. Tell me about the shoot today. Today we're doing a relaunch or rebrand on my magazine. The reason we've decided to relaunch is to just keep current and to innovate all the time. What is Lipstick Red magazine all about? I've always been intrigued by iconic females from the past, Coco Chanel, Marilyn Monroe. One thing that stood out with all of them was their iconic red lipstick. So I thought that that would be a nice title so we could always be everlasting and always on everybody's mind. And how do you manage to build a strong brand image? Definitely consistency. You're going to have to follow through all the time, keep yourself relevant, current. I think this is why we're always trying to recreate ourselves and keep ourselves at the forefront of everything. And why have you chosen to use the various service providers that you've selected today? They're very esteemed individuals, very well known in the industry and their specific niche markets. So it's such a busy day, we have so much to get in order. Please feel free to chat to any of the service providers and I'm going to catch you along as I just see to a few things. Great, I'll do that. Thanks, Chanel. Makeup must complement the outfit and the face of the model. So what is the look that you've created for today, Pooja? Chanel has briefed me on a spring-themed look. Basically, what we're trying to get is a nice dewy skin, and I've got that using a nice hydrating primer. And what is your tip for brides that are wanting to get their makeup done? I usually advise my brides to hydrate the skin to take care of it, because the better the skin, the better the makeup is going to look. Tell me about the inspiration for the jewellery for today's shoot. As a jewellery designer, I always take into consideration the individual and their needs when sitting down on the consult. But seeing in this instance it was spring, I made sure that I used a variety of colour palettes just so that I can bring in pops of colour because the dresses are just so gorgeous. And what is your advice for a bride buying jewellery that wants to wear it past her wedding day? I do take into consideration adjusting the design so she can make use of it in different variations at home. So this earring, for example, can be adjusted completely to be worn as a stud or a drop down at home, just bringing in that aspect of versatility. Decor contributes to the visual appeal and the ambiance of the occasion. Kavesh, tell me about the inspiration for the decor behind today's shoot. Today's inspiration behind the decor was spring theme and basically we've used this beautiful venue and accentuated the garden and the path with some flowers, lanterns and some rose petals spilling out. Location, pose and composition combined to show the design features of each outfit to best advantage. Our brief for the magazine shoot is Spring 2019. With the Kimara's dress, it's form-fitting with godets at the bottom. You can see the crystal embellishment gives it that extra bit of sparkle, which every bride loves. Floral is always in, and especially for spring, everybody loves a bit of flowers. Lens and light are the brush and palette of the photographer. Sean, welcome to Mela. Tell me about the direction of the shoot today. We have three looks we're going for. There's the slim fitting wedding dress. We kept it quite natural. We didn't use any flashlights to light the models up. And we, they are busy changing right now into the ball gown. And we're going to go back out and hopefully the weather's going to hold up to get the cover shot. But as the day progresses, we're going to be going inside and we're going to be doing an evening wear dress, which is more colorful. What is your advice to anybody that's looking for a photographer for their wedding day? Get to know your photographer. You will be spending the entire day with that photographer. So ask all the questions, make sure your personalities is on par. It's not always about the pretty pictures on Instagram and on the website because that's what he uses or she uses to sell their business. Chanel, talk to me about the creative process behind this shoot. 
As today's photo shoot is a rebrand initiative, we've actually collaborated with a fantastic company called Africa Media. They're a local company and they work all around Africa, so we actually have a collaboration for a brand initiative at the moment. Today's shoot was absolutely fantastic. Being a model and a TV presenter in this day and age can be tricky to stand out in. And today really helped me develop my brand and my identity on different levels through different mediums. Today's shoot basically entailed us marrying fashion and brand building. This was to not only build ourselves as a brand, but to show other young people that what the brand building is about. And when you look good, you feel good. It's been a busy but productive day, and I was glad to learn a few tricks of the trade for exactly what goes into a magazine cover shoot and to learn a little bit from Chanel about what goes into building a brand. <laughs>